Are you dating? Are you gay? Why are you gay? How are you mentally? I am not good. Kind of tired for mom. Why don't you show your mom? The answer to that question is. What's up, seashells? It's Shelby, and welcome back to my channel. Is someone doing it? What's up, seashells? It's Shelby, and welcome back to another video. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Ooh. What's up, seashells? It's Shelby, and welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm gonna address some things. You know, some things it need to be addressed, and I think today is a day to address it. We're gonna start off with the, you know, generic questions that everybody keeps asking me, and then we'll just go into the more. I don't know detailed questions or whatever yeah let's do this before we get into the video commercial break I'm here to talk about dossier one more time because y'all know that I love me some dossier perfumes so if you don't know what dossier is it's basically a new perfume brand that replicates scents from luxury classics like Chanel Gucci Versace YSL Tom Ford etc all your high-end brands right so they literally replicate these scents and have them at a fraction of the cost so you know how these designer brands can go up to like 200 300 dollars you can get dusty get perfumes for like 29.99 so the scent of the day is floral honeysuckle this is what the bottle looks like as you can see it is basically done this floral honeysuckle scent was inspired by Gucci Bloom. So you know the deal. In the box, it comes with this 15 milliliter bottle along with a sample size bottle where you can test it out, see if you like it. And if you don't like it, you can actually return it and get it exchanged or return it free of cost. And out of all the ones that I got so far, this was one of my absolute favorites. As you can see, it is finished and it is finished for a reason like the other ones i still have a little bit in them but this one i ran this to the ground literally it smells so good i can just imagine what gucci boom smells like so yeah if you want to try out dossier make sure to use my code and i'm shelby 10 i know some of you guys were trying to use the code i was working but i got this sorted out and it's working now so if you do want to get them make sure you head over to dossier perfumes i will put their link in the description box below coupon code on the screen all that good stuff so yeah if you want to smell good for the low low cheap and clean queen you know that's me i got you so if you want to get them just make sure you click the link in the description box head over there and do what you gotta do do the dance yeah do 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 so now let's just hop right into this video so people are always asking me what my real name is my real name is shelby it's not shelby Ann. it's not shelby gay it's not jesus the color bone i'm doing the most yeah that is my real name it's not a nickname um a lot of people for some reason strangely think that my name is andim andim shelby no my username is and i'm shelby yeah i'm 23 people always keep asking me my age and i didn't tell my age because you know the stalker thing with me if you know you know it did real and I, I like because of that i was a little bit traumatized and i decided that i didn't really want to have certain information about me out there on the internet so i just refrained from sharing a lot of stuff that's also a reason why i stopped doing you know vlogs about college and stuff because a lot of you know me from doing my utech um vlog that is one reason why i stopped i i couldn't risk it anymore i felt like everything i recorded or everything i did was being heavily watched so i just decided that i was not gonna do that anymore are you in school or have you graduated what's your major um what's a piece of brightness if you know you take then that answer is tricky it's a very tricky tricky sticky situation i'm gonna address that in another video you know why, why are we talking about school i don't want to talk about school i don't want to talk about school <laughs> anyways my major is uh, i 
I am doing communication arts and technology as the program yeah public relations PR is my major yeah how did you or how do you balance Jesus Christ how do you balance YouTube and university there's not much to it it wasn't really a challenge like to balance my challenge was coming up with content that was really my challenge for YouTube so it really had nothing to do with like studying and you know planning content or anything because one I didn't study and two I didn't plan content so you know there was nothing to clash there was nothing to balance it was just a mental thing it, it neither affected the other does that make sense yes are you dating maybe what's your body count I never kill nobody yet are you gay why are you gay why are you gay who says i'm gay you are gay why do people keep asking me if i'm gay why do people assume that i'm gay like is it because of the tapered cut that i had with my septum piercing maybe there were other reasons but i don't think so i don't know oh recently a lot of people have been asking me this because of that one TikTok that I posted. The answer to that question is. Me love all girls. Hey. Alright, that's the. How to deal with hate comments? I don't deal with hate comments anymore. Uh, I don't really do. I, there's, there's, uh, mm, there's really nothing to it because listen, I'm not even brave enough to say these things from your real accounts. Like y'all are using fake pages. And it's always the people that are like follow back or the people that are actually subscribed to me like you're helping me make money you're helping me get views you are your, your hate is helping me so honestly that's fine i don't give a damn um do some of these hate comments still get to me of course i am human and certain things that y'all say really hurt but at the end of the day i'm either gonna just delete the comments or mega actually unsona because these days I realize I have a little more time on my hands depending on the comment that you guys leave because I don't feel like people aren't human you guys feel like content creators aren't human and that you can just say any and anything and we're just gonna let you well I'm just gonna let you get away with it because I'm above that and I'm not gonna stoop to your level if you're gonna go low I'm gonna go to hell <laughs> okay so yeah Watch what you say to me because these days my clapbacks are. Yeah. Don't play with me. Why do you keep your life so private? Because not everything needs to be on the internet. Um. That's really it. I'm not that YouTuber who's gonna get up and pick up the camera every time something happens. I'm not always going to pick up the camera when something good happens. I'm not always gonna pick up the camera when something bad happens. Sometimes I feel like you can't keep things to yourself. Really and truly, like, I feel like some things you can keep to yourself. Not everything needs to be publicized. I really don't need 17,000 odd people over here. So, 21 odd or 20, I don't know, 20 odd or much thousand people over Instagram and 6,000 odd people upon Twitter to know my life in detail. It's not necessary. Half of those people don't like me. Half of these people are following me just to know some tea. Um, why? I, I, I don't need y'all to know that much. How are you mentally? I am not good. I am not good. Um, this morning I cried. I woke up. I actually went to sleep. I cried myself to sleep last night. And I woke up and the tears just, you know, kept going. Your girl is dealing with a lot right now, to be honest. And... I decided, you know, I haven't posted a video in. Um, we're not even gonna talk about that, cause I my time will come on here and explain to you why I'm gonna post a video, and then say, you know, I'm coming back with the heat, and then I don't come back with the heat. Like I think you guys are tired of my empty promises, so I'm gonna stop promising that because I never know what life is going to throw at me. I'ma feel like life I throw a stone for me. Like you know when they say life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Life not throw a lemon for me. Life I throw a stone. What we gonna make with stone? I don't know, but it it's a lot. Like your girl is going through a lot right now, and today I I mid just kind of tired for ball. Like I'm, I'm I'm getting flustered right now because it's just a lot. 
that you know I would want to vent or I would want to share but as I said earlier I don't think that everything needs to be publicized I believe in going through stuff privately or you know I'll, I'll tell my close friends and stuff and they'll help me get through it but I, I don't think I need like the whole internet knowing because some people if them sister something wrong with me they might like a bitch yo a good feel how this should I reach a long time no I do not need that negative energy on my life I feel like my style enough and somehow no have some there is power in the tongue and somehow on the tongue it dirty like on the art I'm gonna need that negativity to be spewed over my life um, there are some good people who would actually give me some real prayers and you know wish me well and all that I love you guys mwah. but I would just rather keep some stuff to myself well yeah back to the question how am I doing mentally I am not good but uh, I think it will get better eventually I just decided to do my makeup you know slick my hair a little bit so I didn't want to shave I didn't think the two but that never worked out um, there's that I just decided I wanted to make a video um, I'm not gonna come on here and be like oh my god my life is so great my life is so amazing there's nothing wrong I am gorgeous my hair is done so you know there's nothing bothering me this is a coping mechanism so there's that if that answers your question yeah I am hanging on by a thread but you know that's thread they're really strong this thread is really strong this is one question that I keep getting asked so many times. It's annoying. I'm not even going to lie. But I can understand why you guys would ask. Why don't you show your mom? There's nothing to show. <laughs> nothing to show. I didn't grow up with her. I grew up with my dad. Like, she's alive. She's alive and well. There's nothing wrong with her. I just didn't grow up with her. I am aware of who she is. Yes, I actually know her. Um, I have actually met her. It's fine. I just, I grew up with my dad. I have a better and stronger relationship with my father. He's the one who raised me. And that's just what it is. Like, not everybody is going to grow up in a loving family with both parents. You know, sometimes they split. And I know a lot of people are used to them, you know, are used to seeing people with their moms. But I'm just with my dad, okay? Tell them back in. Like, people are just so used to seeing people with their mothers or their grandmother or something. They're not really, they're, like, people are still not used to the fact that, you know, you just grew up with your dad. I grew up with my dad and I love that man to death not my nose ring falling off in the middle of the video stop you're embarrassing me hmm. I gotta turn on the outside light because they're looking kind of dark and I'm scared what is your next step in life well I am gonna be starting a little business one of these fine days um, I've been thinking about it for a couple years now and I've been scared to start um, all because I thought that because people didn't like me they wouldn't support etc etc but I don't care about that anymore like if you support you support if you don't support then you just don't support but I will never know until I take the risk so if and when I do actually carry out this business you guys will know but that's one thing that i have for the future um i kind of don't want to speak on too much of the things that i have planned because some things as i said i'm gonna keep it to myself because i'm gonna put it out there and on a bad mouth and goat mouth me and it not happen because you know the devil works hard the devil he works hard my god works harder of course but you know the devil they don't want to give no work for them so Let's keep it to myself and try my thing. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And that's that on that. So, how do you identify your growth over time? I honestly just look at how I deal with certain situations then versus how I deal with certain situations now. One main thing I can talk about is my irritation. Yeah, the 
irritation. <laughs> if you know me, I get irritated very easily. I don't like when people ask stupidness. I don't like when people ask questions they could Google. I don't like people ask. I just, I don't like nonsense. I really don't like nonsense. Like, use your brain. Um, I would get irritated very, very quickly by the simplest things and it would throw off my entire day. It would throw off days. It would, it would throw off my days. Like, I can't, I don't know how to let things go. I don't, I don't let go of things easily. So if something pisses me off or something makes me sad, I'm going to dwell on it and dwell on it and dwell on it until, I don't know, I find a distraction or something. I don't know. Um, I do still struggle with that a little bit. But what I can say is that I was worse and I was much worse and I used to have temper tantrums where I would throw things and break things. Now I'm not breaking things anymore. I'm just throwing things but I'm not breaking things. You know I start I start throwing things that don't break. You know I'm fling a pillow or a, a, a plastic buckle or something but I'm not gonna throw my phone anymore. I'm not gonna throw glass. You know, I've stopped doing that. I've stopped having temper tantrums. I think I've grown in that area. Um, I have also tried not to dwell on things too long. So if I do get irritated, because trust and believe, I'm gonna get irritated. If that's one thing in life, I'm gonna be irritated. I'm kind of still working on that. But um, I try to just think about other things. I try to distract myself right then and there so I don't think about it anymore. Because I, mean, I feel like one little thing could just mess up my entire day or ruin my entire mood. That don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. So that's one small aspect of growth that I can identify. Alright, so I'm going to answer two more questions. Um, what is your daily job? I don't... It's not really a daily job. Um... I'm a creative. That is what I am. I like YouTube. Although YouTube was a hobby, it has become one of the sources of income. It's not my main source of income. Um, I do editing, so if you don't know, I do a little bit of graphics here and there. I mostly do YouTube intros, outros, thumbnails, banners, um, stuff like that. I will start getting into like logos and flyers, things of that nature. Know that my laptop is fixed. Because if you know, you know, say one thing I complain about for Instagram is that my laptop now work. But I try to fix it and I think I think we're getting somewhere. So I might start doing more stuff. You know, my videos might be edited a little better now because I can have time to practice, etc. So we get back to the business. Yeah, what I do. So graphics, um, if you want an intro or an outro, I might be having a sale coming soon. So make sure you stay tuned and go follow my business page at Edits by Shell. I'll put the description in i'll put the link in the description box below i used to do social media management i don't do that anymore past couple ones that i've had were just a little bit nerve-wracking a little bit stressful and it was clashing with my stuff and i wanted my stuff to be a priority so it just never there where it goes to me i got other stuff off my sleeve that i don't really want to talk about but if we're going to talk about the two main things that those are my two main things just know say girl is a hustler and girl is always gonna get money some way, somehow. Not by scamming niggas, not by taking money from niggas because girl is independent, she gonna get it herself. Cause I'm not gonna let, you know, I'm not gonna let any man have the opportunity to say they told me no. Because I don't like hearing no. So if I always wanna hear yes, I'm gonna work for it and get it myself. Here Shelby, here's a gift. Oh, thank you. Who's it from? Me to me yeah what's it like being in a relationship now because you seem to be single for a while um it's different it is it's different but i love it here i really do love it here um i have learned a lot i have learned a lot of patience tolerance trying not to get irritated so easily um it's been fun it's a roller coaster it's not like it's peaches and cream every day sometimes i feel like killing the partner i feel like just <laughs> sometimes i do get irritated like i think with every every relationship there's not always going to be oh my god i think with every relationship
relationship there's gonna be ups and downs so there of course have been some ups and downs more ups than downs to be honest um just love it here i really do love it here yeah the last question i'm going to answer is how is shelby now different from shelby first year in college <sighs> shelby first year in college was very naive she was uh, a little braver than she is now um she was just so lost i'm not even gonna lie she was so lost she did not know that adulthood would have been the biggest she ever took in her life um <laughs> If she didn't know that's a life that uh, she wouldn't even bother going to college. Swear to God. I think I'm just more knowledgeable now than I was then, and uh, that's just really the main thing. I just know a lot more now than I knew then. So, in terms of like mindset and everything, there, I don't think my mindset has changed much. It has changed maybe a little bit, depending on the topic, depending on the situation, but. Uh, not many many things have changed from first year um i think as the years went by i cared a lot less about school so there's that um in my first year you know i i, I think i tried to get good grades and stuff not that i i really tried to be mediocre in my final years but i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna just want a piece of paper like i don't care if i get an a or a b or a c as long as i get an a b or a c that means i've passed i do not care just to let y'all know i'm a kind of an a B type of girl when we really don't care about the subject or mccann but i might get a c but it's mostly the a's and the b's because you know the gpa is over three and so so you know it's a girl that's always bright and stuff but you know girl just don't care i really don't care so why was i talking like that yeah i think these are all the questions i'm going to answer today i don't know if i went through all the nice ones or i, I kind of just picked them randomly kind of tired my mouth's really dry i think this is the end of this video it was a nice little chat and you know i keep looking at myself because general my kind of look nice like it'll look nice so yeah period if you like this video or you'd like more videos like you know the chit chat so if you want to suggest some type of other videos you want me to do then you can do that in the comments below if you've gotten this far to the video make sure you comment a pink heart don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and your girl will see you in the next video whatever that will be because i'm not gonna promise you guys that i'm gonna post a video next week i'm gonna hope so but i ain't gonna make no more empty promises just know that i love you my seashells okay okay bye